So I'm going to show you another smoothie that proves to you that chocolate can actually be good for you. I know it's like the holy grail, chocolate that's good for you. When you actually get back to basics, the original cocoa powder, powdered dried cocoa bean, this stuff is wonderful for your health. There's loads of magnesium in there, so that's really good for teeth and bones. There's huge amounts of antioxidants, so it helps to support heart health, it helps to support many aspects of health. It is a wonderful ingredient and it tastes good. The problem with a lot of the chocolate bars and stuff is the sugar that's in there. So if you don't use loads of sugar and you actually use the cocoa powder, you've got something that's actually really good for you. And this smoothie is amazing. So, you get you involved again. You were pushing buttons before, mm -hmm. and now you're breaking bananas. Yay. Yeah? Do you want to break that up into small pieces, about that big, and, and put it in there? And whilst you're doing that, I'm going to put some of this cocoa powder in. So you want to make it quite strong. Give it a good cocoa hit. I would say about four to six teaspoons, or two heaped tablespoons. Oh, there we go. That will do, that will do us. Really simple, this one. Um, here we've got some vanilla paste. You don't have to use the paste, you can use a vanilla extract if you want. You could just leave the vanilla, vanilla out if you wanted to, but this just makes it taste extra special. So that will be about enough. It's very, very strong stuff. So that is just a fraction of a teaspoon there. Just a little, little drizzle. And then finally, see how simple this is? Finally, we've got some milk going in. Now you can use any kind of milk. You don't have to use the dairy kind. You can use oat milk or almond milk, whatever you fancy. It'll all work just as well. But obviously with, uh, with the cow's milk, you've got plenty of calcium in there. And if you're going to be using milk, make sure that you use the full fat version because you've got the vitamin D and vitamin K in there that so many of us aren't getting anywhere near enough of. So really important, especially for growing kids. They need the vitamin D, they need the vitamin A. So blades on. This can be a great breakfast actually. For you, you can have a shot of coffee in it first thing in the morning and that will really start your day off well. So are you ready for this? Star in roll, okay. Push the button. Yeah. That'll do. So there's not much in there to actually blend up. And this is the exciting bit. Now you went first last time, so you've got first dibs on this one. There you go. Also, you can, you can add some honey to it to sweeten it a little bit if you want, or you could even use some stevia. Just keep, just keep away from normal granulated sugar. If you're going to sweeten it with something, make sure it's actually got some kind of nutritional benefit to it as well. You know what? I'll have a bit of that. I think I've earned a bit, don't you? Yeah. What do you think? Good. Good. It's chocolate milk. What more could you ask for? Simple as that. So, you know, it's, it's a good way to get the best of both worlds. It tastes amazing. It's a flavour that everyone enjoys and it's doing you some good at the same time. Panfire.